Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this super simple shamrock applique. This is for any person who is Irish, anybody who loves St. Patrick's Day, anything to do with St. Patrick's Day. Actually, I'm getting married on St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> so that's super exciting. <laughs> but this is going to be a lot of fun. It's super simple and a lot of fun to make. Uh, big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn for this project today. This is such a little tiny shamrock. You could make it into a clover, a four-leaf clover if you wanted to, just by repeating the leaf um, part a fourth time, which is really simple to add adapt into a, a clover style as well. Uh, so I'm going to be using Red Heart Soft yarn today, but you can use any worsted weight, any green yarn that you want. The specific green color I'm using today is called guacamole, <laughs> so you can use any green colored yarn that you have though. And uh, I'm going to be using a G size hook today, which is 4.25 millimeters. You can use an H hook as well, which is 5 millimeters. But this fancy crochet hook is from the Etsy shop, would be fancy. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can find this crochet hook on Etsy and get your own because everybody's been asking me, where did you get that hook? Where have you found the hook like that? This is hand carved and it's ergonomic, um, basically one of a kind. There's all kinds of different ones on the Etsy shop so you can check those out. It's great for crocheting for a really long period of time and it's ergonomic. It's great. So get yours there. Also there's a scissor and a yarn needle here because we're going to cut our yarn and sew in our ends later on when we... Uh, uh, trim our yarn. So that is all the supplies you're going to need and um, you can check out links in the description of this video for this yarn, for the scissor and yarn needle, and especially for this hook at that Etsy shop. So make sure you um, check out those links. And there's a link to my Facebook as well. And let me know what you do with your shamrock. You can add this to a greeting card, or you can attach it to a hat, or a scarf, or even blankets. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with appliques. Uh, and this one is really cute and almost 3D looking. So it's really, really fun, a uh, really fun project. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns. Big thank you to my dad back there for filming, editing, and uh, taking the photos. And a uh, big thank you to you for watching. I'm so excited and this is a great project and there's not much time left and I'll be getting married. So <laughs> this is, and this is perfect because it's on St. Patrick's Day. So anyway, let's just get started and make this cute little shamrock. All right, let's start out by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull your long end through there and you've created a knot. So you can insert your hook into that loop and we can start. So to make this uh, clover or the shamrock here, uh, let's chain four. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, and four. Four, and we are going to slip stitch to the very first chain over here to form a ring. So go into that very first chain way over here and then yarn over and pull through that loop and pull through the loop on your hook and that is a slip stitch. And we've created a ring. Now if you wanted to start with the magic ring you, co you can, um, but for round one we are going to start off by chaining four. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, and four. And what we're going to do now is slip stitch, right? Slip stitch? No, single crochet, sorry. Single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as a chain, so we're going to count one and two. This chain right here. And what I'm going to do is actually turn it toward me and work in that back ridge right here. We're going to go into that back ridge of that second chain from the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through. So we have two loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is a single crochet. We're going to do the same thing in the next two chains. Two chains. <laughs> We're going to go into this next chain here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. And this last one right here, okay? Then we'll be back down to the center ring and we are going to put a single crochet into the ring we made earlier, right here. So go into that center ring, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two. And there is going to be the first part of 
the clover or the shamrock. I'm going to call it between clover and shamrock. I know a clover is four leaves and then the uh, shamrock is three. So anyway, let's uh, do that again. Let's chain four. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to single crochet into that second chain right here. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. And then in each of these next to two chains, one, and this next one here. And you can see I'm working in that back ridge, just like that. Perfect. Now we're back into the center ring. We're going to single crochet into the center ring. Just like that. So there's our second leaf. Okay, I'm going to make one more leaf. And if you want to make two more leaves, you can make a four leaf clover. But I'm going to do one more time. So one, two, three, and four chains. Single crochet into the second chain. And in the next two chains. <laughs> one and two and then into the center ring again right here. Go in with a single crochet. Okay, so there I have my three here. Now if you wanted to do another one, you can do one more, uh, but I'm just going to do the three today. Then we're not going to join or anything. So if you wanted to grab a, another piece of yarn, let me reach over here and grab another colored yarn. You can um, just have a stitch marker. I just cut a random piece of yarn here. But you can put a stitch marker in here to mark your rounds or you can um, just um, stick with the stitching count and you wouldn't have to mark your rounds. So now you can see here there looks like there's four stitches in a row. There's one, so this is the center ring. Okay, this is the center ring right here. So this is the chain from the center ring. So you can see if you go to your stitches here, there's one stitch, there's two, there's three, and there's four. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna go into this first stitch here. So I'm gonna move my I'm gonna put my stitch marker right in here. And then I'm gonna go into this stitch. Okay, this is a stitch right here. It's the, actually the base of the stitch from the previous row. And if you see here, this stitch right here. Sorry guys, one, two, three. And then there's a single crochet into the ring. So it's this third one right here. So actually this is our slip stitch right here from making that center ring. So go into this third stitch, one, two, three in right here. Go in there. And we are going to single crochet into that stitch. Oopsie. Let me grab my yarn back here. There we go. Single crochet into there. Then we are going to double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, go into this very next stitch right here, and double crochet. Okay, now in this next stitch right here, this third stitch right here, we are going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go into this third stitch here, and put two double crochets. So a double crochet, I don't think I explained that, it's yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So that is a double crochet. So we put one double crochet in this stitch and then two double crochets in this stitch. And now we're at the tip top edge of this, um, this leaf part here. So at this point here, we are going to put a series of stitches at the very end. And if you want to work in this stitch, if you see I'm turning my work around like this to work in these stitches along here, you can work into this stitch if you want. So what I'm going to do is yarn over. We're going to put two double crochets at the very end. So you can see that chain one right there. I don't know if you can see it very well. But this uh, chain one right here, you can insert your hook into that. Or if it's too difficult to stick your hook in there, you can go into this stitch right here. OK, 
okay and that's probably what I'm going to do anyway so yarn over go into that stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two we're gonna put two double crochets so yarn over again and go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now we're going to make a slip stitch because we want it to come in on the end of the of the leaf so go into here no yarning over just go into that same stitch then yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook okay and that makes this round come inward now in that same stitch we're still going to put two more double crochets so yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops so now you can see it comes in and goes back out so yarn over go back in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so you can see that it is making that clover shape now we can hop to this next stitch right here we are going to put two double crochets in there so yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and another one in that same stitch perfect now in this next stitch right here we are going to put a single crochet so go into that stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and in the next stitch right here put a single crochet so go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two okay so we are going to repeat now what we did from this point around to this point here so on this piece right here so there's those three stitches so what did we do we put a single crochet in this next stitch here then we put a double crochet into this next stitch right here then we put two double crochets in this last stitch on this side here one and two and then in this very end right here if you wanted to work in that chain one or you can work in this stitch which I find much easier you can put two double crochets one and two then a slip stitch so go in yarn over pull through and pull through the loop on your hook slip stitch and then put two more double crochets in that same stitch one and two okay then put uh, two double crochets into the next stitch one and two and then we single crochet into this next stitch and that is the second leaf so now we just have this one more leaf I'm going to do that and when I come back around um, when I'm I'm just going to repeat that so it's a single crochet in this next stitch then a double in this next then two doubles and then we have or actually it's a single crochet too so we want to make sure that there are these three stitches here okay so we have a single crocheted in this stitch that was in the center ring so just do your last leaf here we have a single crochet then a double crochet and then two double crochets in there and then we do our end here and you can see that the end is come it goes in and then comes back around like that okay so just to rewind this if you need to to do this part here and then I'll meet you up and we will go on to the next step all right so if you have one stitch left on this piece here so I did the whole uh, leaf here and we ended with the two double crochet and then a single crochet in that stitch I have one stitch here we're gonna single crochet in there just like that so it should end at two single crochets very similarly to how we ended this other one too we had two single crochets in there 
and then we started with a single crochet of that other one. Anyways, going on to our next round, round three, you can move your stitch marker up if you want to. And what we're going to do now is put a single crochet into these first two stitches. So in this next stitch right here, put a single crochet. And in the stitch after that, we're going to put a single crochet. Now, in this next stitch, we are going to put a half double crochet. So yarn over, go into that next stitch there, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, that is a half double crochet. Now, in the next stitch, we are going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. We're going to do the same thing in this next stitch right here. So put two double crochets in this next stitch. So one, and two. Now in this stitch right before the slip stitch right here, we are going to put a, let's see, a two half double crochets. So yarn over, go in to this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And do that again. So yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now in this slip stitch, if you can see the slip stitch, you want to put a slip stitch into the slip stitch. <laughs> so go into the slip stitch if you can see it and insert your hook. It's going to be quite tight. Yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook and pull tight. And now we're going to kind of do the opposite of what we did on this side for this side. So ha put two half double crochets in this next stitch right here two half double crochets, one and two. Then put two double crochets in the next two stitches. So in this stitch, put two double crochets, one and two. And in this next stitch right here, put two double crochets, one and two. Okay. Now in this next stitch, we are going to half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then we're going to just single crochet into these next two stitches. But then we're going to repeat what we did. And so the first stitch of this next leaf right here gets a, or the first two stitches actually get a single crochet. So it's basically like you're single crocheting four stitches in a row now because you end this leaf with two single crochets, but then you start this leaf with two single crochets. So we're basically just going to repeat what we did for this leaf on this leaf and this leaf. So I'll show you again. We're going to go a little bit faster now. We're going to single crochet in these first two stitches. Then we're going to half double crochet in the next. Then we're going to put two double crochets in this next stitch. And then we're going to do the same thing in the next stitch. Two double crochets. Then we're going to put two half double crochets in this next stitch, which should be the stitch before the slip stitch. Okay, so put two half double crochets in that one. One and two. And then in this next slip stitch right here, we're going to slip stitch in there. So if you can stick your hook in there somehow, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And then in this next stitch right here, we are going to put two half double crochets, one and two. And then we're just going to do kind of like opposite of what we did on this side. So two double crochets in this next stitch, one and two. Then two double crochets in this next stitch, one and two then half double crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet into the last two stitches of this leaf and then just jump into doing the last leaf so you could do that 
all the way around. I'm just going to finish this last leaf here and when I get back to this beginning point right here, I'll meet you up and we have to make the stem. All right, I'm just finishing up here on this third leaf just like that. So you want to end with the two single crochets. So now this is what your piece should look like. So it's done. We just have to make the stem. So at this point, what we're going to do is, let's see here, slip stitch into this next stitch. So go into this next stitch right here, which should be the first stitch. You can remove your stitch marker at this point. Yarn over and pull through and through the loop on your hook. And then we're going to chain nine. You could chain seven if you wanted to have a shorter stem. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we are going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count, so count one and two. And you can see I'm turning this chain toward me. I'm working in these back ridges of this chain. So we're gonna go in that second chain right here, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook. Now, you don't have to pull too tight, so just like that. So go into the next one here, yarn over and pull through, and through. Into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and through. And we're just doing this in each chain all the way back up to the leaves. So let me get there here. You can just continue watching. So you should have eight slip stitches in total. Okay, and I'm gonna do it right in this back right here. Yarn over, pull through and through. Now we are going to single, or I'm sorry, slip stitch back into the shamrock right here. So go into the same stitch where we slip stitched into, go in, yarn over, pull through and pull through. And then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to cut the yarn and pull that through and then pull it tight. And there is the stem and there is the shamrock. How lovely. Now we just have to sew in some ends. So let me grab my yarn needle. So we just have to grab this strand we cut just now and just yarn your needle and then just go to the back of your work here and just go underneath some of the stitches and if you wanted to you could have cut this strand long and used it for sewing you can sew this like i said earlier you know on a hat or a blanket or a scarf or even you know sew it to a card and give it to somebody for a valentine there are so many punny valentines um or, or even for saint patrick's day coming up um you can think of something like, I'm so lucky to have you in my life, Valentine, <laughs> or something silly. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying my punny Valentines. If you haven't seen them already, um, you could check out my YouTube channel or my website, Yarn Utopia. Just search Valentine and they'll all show up. So you can see I just sewed in all my ends there and I'm just going to trim these extra strands short, just like that. And there you have a cute shamrock applique. There it is. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this. That was so easy. Um, if you uh, make this, you know, make sure to share your photo on Facebook or Instagram and hashtag Yarn Utopia so I can see your cute little shamrocks and let me know what you do with them. This is a cute, fast and easy uh, applique. Thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn. A big thank you to my dad back there for filming and editing this tutorial. And thanks to you for watching. Until next time, happy hooking!